after graduation, uh, becoming uh, an important role, having an important role in the Alumni Association, and just really utilizing that to increase band operational funds and those sorts of things. So that way we can travel more. So because I know a lot of people say, man, UT's band travels all the time. OU's band travels all the time. And even if it is just a pet band, I'd love to be able to say that going band goes to almost every game in you know Texas and Oklahoma, the games that are close. I think that'd be great for a good long-term future goal for the band. A great travel experience to TCU. Um, Go ahead. I, I mean, Dustin was my bus buddy, naturally, of course. Who else bus is there? Bus buddies. Um, <laughs> it, was, it was a great time traveling. Traveling's not something you get to do a lot. Um, so I think everyone looks forward to the trip every year. There's just so much that's going on. I mean, you're stuck on a bus for, I mean, we went to Dallas, so it was about six hours. But, I mean, there's just always something going on. Everyone's kind of goofing off. Well, except for like the first two hours because everyone's passed out. I mean, something that was really cool for me is that we went to um, the Flower Mound game for an exhibition and they just so happened to be playing Coppell, which is my high school. And that week, um, two of their students passed away and my sister actually goes to that school. And so um, upon hearing this, like Mr. Hill texted me and was like, hey, get Amazing Grace ready, we're gonna play it at the game for the Coppell community. Like, without even hesitating, we were like, okay, we're gonna be there for this community because you know, that's how we can support them is by playing this for them and showing them that, you know, even if we're halfway across the state, we can still, you know, be part of your community. That was really special, you know, going to high schools and playing and performing in front of an audience that's not college oriented is always a great experience because everybody's so goo-goo-eyed to watch you and you're like, yep, they look up to me. So that was that. I guess my favorite experience would be the TCU game, mainly because it was so, oh my gosh, down to the wire, and we were playing so loud, and we heard we got so much feedback from the um, the tech fans that went to that game about how how much the band helped with this the um, the team's morale and their own morale, and how you know get, getting that feedback from other people is a really good confirmation that what we're doing is right, and you know we're getting the job done, and it was just a really fantastic game. It was intense. Uh, I've heard from my mother, who happened to be watching the game on, on the uh, television, she you know, sent me a text during the game. She's like, Joe, the band sounds amazing, and I hardly hear any of it. And I'm like, wow, well, thanks, Mom. And then just the game itself was very intense because triple overtime. I, I'm not much of a football fanatic, but I know that whenever you make me stay later than it's supposed to, something is going on, and it better be exciting, and it sure was. But it's always lighthearted, always high energy. I guess people tend to do stupid things at times, like break <laughs> TVs on the bus. Oh yeah, they got this. They you got know. this great idea to do this thing called bus wars, where um, kids would just okay. All right, actually, let me start over. So this is my fault that this even happened, because like no surprise, it's a thing. And I talked about drum corps earlier, but it's a thing there. Because like people are really rowdy to be like, oh, I'm gonna touch the back of your bus, and like you don't want that to happen. So basically, when people try and run on the bus, you try and fight them off. And this other kid people that I that know, aren't on your bus. Yeah, you try and run onto another bus and touch the back. So um, I look at this kid and I'm like, "Hey, I'm gonna come touch the back of your bus." And he knew exactly what I was talking about. So I that it was like a completely empty comment. Like I was not gonna go and do that because I just <laughs> I was just being stupid, but. Then he decided to come on our bus, and the next thing you know, there's like it 20 just, people trying to run onto each other's buses and touch the back. And it like, turned into a big old thing, and next thing I know, I get off the bus to go talk to Professor Hill, and I'm coming back. And <laughs> there are people, well, no, I come back, the TV's broken. There are people like crowd surfing the seats, trying to get to the back, yeah. and then being thrown off the bus. Yeah. The twirlers are spilling out of our bus. Yeah, the twirlers somehow were trying to get got, on our bus. They and got roped in somehow. I wasn't there for the actual breaking, but I was there afterwards, and I saw the aftermath. So, uh, you know, band kids are band kids, and I think I remember mentioning this earlier. We're all a big family, and sometimes we act in ways that we wouldn't normally. 
So things get broken, <laughs> like televisions that stand. Um, that was funny. You know, uh, we, of course, when it happens, we all like, oh no, serious moment, here we go, you know, but it's, <laughs> it's fun. But no, this, Sorry, the kid that broke the TV, like, tried to get, he tried to go over the seats to try and break it, and it, like, as he was going over, his foot just, like, bah! kicked the TV right off Just the kicked panel. it out of the socket. It was really bad. Embarrassing. So, TCU was just, ooh, and then coming back that night was kind of stressful because you smell and you're in you know, a bus with 50 other people and they all might have forgotten their deodorant. So that was pretty intense, but of course we all slept through it. Now I normally get stuck on, on the zip bus. Um, don't put that in there, but you know, I get stuck on the, on, the, on the back bus and for normal band kids to be with zit. And I, I'm always, it's because I'm lazy and don't sign up for a bus. And so I get stuck on the last bus, which is the bus that Zit overtakes and claims as their own. And so sometimes it can be really, um, I don't know the word, um, annoying. But, but to just be alone on the bus with, with people going crazy in the back. Um, but if you wind up getting on a bus with your friends, then, then that's awesome. Yeah, they, they're on there. We just ignore them. We let them kind of do their own thing. And this is our half of the bus. This is your half of the bus. This is that magic line that you don't cross. This is like an invisible bubble. And they're so crazy. Um, and, and if you try and sleep, like there's not much hope for it really. And there's a lot of drumming on pads. It's just what drummers do. Drummers just do it. They're not, they're not bad people for doing it, but they just kind of tap on things and drum on pads and drum on windows and drum on seats and stuff like that. And so it, it, it's just not optimum for if you're alone on a bus, you're probably going to sleep. And so that just doesn't provide well. So that, that was just mistakes by me. Jeff. 